If you're here, that means it's one of two things. One, you're on your 14th hour of YouTube rabbit hole diving and somehow made it onto a channel that is completely awful. Or you're here for some Chainsaw Man, which is still on a channel that's completely awful. So, what we can really do is sit back and enjoy the show we're about to watch. With it being the final episode of this season, I suspect there's a lot to be wrapped up and summarised. We've got quite a bit to do. The Katana Devil, the one that controlled the snakes. The Katana Devil, the one that can control the big snake. As well as, well, the Gun Devil out there somewhere. Parts of his body being drawn together, leaving left around in various seams. Has Denji and Power's training going to be, well, going to be put to use in this episode? Maybe. But after infiltrating the base of the ones that attacked them, along with some other things, you know, actually not exactly faring the best against the ghost devil. Someone's got to swoop in there and help him out, no? That's a face you definitely want to see. And in a moment like this, that's what his... That's what his mind goes to. The first and last of many. There were many last cigarettes. Well, you've given it to him now. Until he becomes of age, then he can have it back. That's... Some heavy breathing, not choking him anymore. Did the... Mm, I was going to say, did the memory uh, uh, affect something in some way, but it's the ghost devil itself. Responding to... <laughs> Is that that last first cigarette? Is it because Himeno is now, you know, one with the ghost devil? I mean, what better way to relay a, relay a message? uses fear to see. So all you got to do is not be afraid, and it can't do anything. It can't sense where you are. I see. Once again, the calm... Calming type of music with the sorry offbeat. I mean, it's definitely one way of showing some sort of power gap there that she was not uh, ready for at all. Hang on, why did it just stop? What the hell's going on? No words, just a slow look. I think that gets across exactly what you needed. Uh, 
and with his mind running back to her for that moment, not only being you know, attacked by the ghost devil and it being the brief bit before he loses consciousness, but the fact that he also didn't quite realise what she meant to him before everything went down. I think that's Really, what makes it uh, hit a bit harder? But is an event like this going to help him avoid the fate, at least for a little while? How soon in the future was the future devil looking when he was mentioning uh, his uh, terrible, imminent demise? Well then, <laughs> I was about to ask who was that behind, but holding a knife, you know, who's uh, terribly effective. Well, when she's not overcome with fear. Oh yeah, considering she had a chance to get out, but... Fair. Knowing why she's here in the first place, that's an answer I would have expected and accepted easily. Is she keeping a souvenir? Oh, lunch. I mean, it kind of matters, especially if it's spoiled. They get on so well. Is this your floor? Oh no. Oh no. Well, she's going to have some fun slicing through some more zombies. This... I mean, if she's just going to enjoy some hack and slash fun, how long is it going to take her to notice that he's not in the slightest nearby? No elevator music to keep us company. What does he get? Preemptively getting ready, just in case. Oh. Makes sense. Now they want to talk. Okay. Um, and you killed a whole bunch as well, so... I mean, he... What Denji's saying is technically... Well, factful. Used to, but... For the time, all intents and purposes, they're not anymore, so... <laughs> nope. 
What about the people that he's hurt, the time zombies? Does he care about those? Hmm, I think he might have to decline that one. Yada. So... So fr frivolously denying their enticing offer. I do like how the two with guns are just, like, basically background pieces. And how is the fight going to go down now that he's had a l little bit of uh, training and getting used to moving around? You know, it, it, this is almost definitely a, like a, a pre-planned choreography. Choreography. I want to know how this was actually animated over, like, through and through the entire process. Where better a place than on the top of a train for a uh, drawn-out fight? Well, he can't complain about the life he's got now, I guess. He's getting room and board. Enough food to survive by. And as long as he's not dead, there's not a lot that he's gonna, that's going to stop him. How many days was he fighting tooth and nail against the uh, Eternity Devil? Also, since this tr train is running and... Yeah, okay. That answers my questions! Is everyone that was inside the train hearing their fight on top is what I was gonna gonna say. But since they came crush crashing through, you might want to get out of here. One more for therapy. Kanto Airlines Club. Come on, play fair! Is... Is he lost another? Eh. Don't count him out yet. Just needs to... Stick him back on. And apparently all of uh, the grandfather's crimes and everything that he's done go unpunished because reasons. As long as he's got a blade, he can fight. And that flash move once more. Chain came loose. That was quite nice, actually, seeing it break away like that. He drew him in, but what's he got? Well... Not really seen many people be completely bifurcated down the centre like that, but... He learned a lot. And the fact that he can... Summon these... Chainsaw blades from multiple places. 
There's definitely going to be some people late for work, though. How are you going to explain there were two people with blades strapped to their arms and faces fighting on the train? Is that a good enough excuse for being half an hour late to work? Just, uh... Pretty much immortal. Mm, not right now, now he isn't. So just sit tight and... Uh, oh. So he's got as much right to seek some vengeance there for that he does for his granddad, right? Yeah, but he's never really behaved. He's coming up with something fun, has he? Is Aki going to uh, adjudicate this contest or join in? What are the rules? So he deserves something. And since he can't die, I suppose, can they uh, prove anything? Explain. Hmm. Well, debatable. Is Aki against this sort of uh, duplicitous entertainment? Although he's not being quite as affirmative as he might have been before, so... It's almost as though she's telling you to. So you in? <laughs> what a prize! I think that would make you regret your actions more than anything in the world. Good to see that the other half of it was covered quite nicely. And with quite a nice shot there. Was it the duality of the a- That's a ring! Duality of the angel devil. <laughs> mm. What a wonderful melody they are playing indeed. All of which they have managed to figure out, and thanks to the attack on the headquarters just now. <laughs> she cannot catch a break. Everyone that she near is near just turns into a... Well, multiple pieces. We 
We've got a lead. That was a nice zoom in. But we've got the start. Well, the end of the Iron Giant with the pieces all coming back together. There's only a matter of time before the Gun Devil is tracked down. Now I. I'm going to say, I've heard this song. It's going to be difficult to get away from it, considering... Well, considering... I think I'll say what I probably did back when I actually heard it was... Well, it is... Well, it sounds like, and it currently is, something that I would listen to. And have added to several of my uh, music lists and whatnot. But I haven't seen the visuals to go along with it. The nice times they're actually able to have. Just in the, uh, the, their, the apartment all living together. And meowy. But after a success, successful operation like that, but also Aki coming to terms with a few things and having him and I help him out once more, even from beyond the grave. Not that there's much to bury, but... Is he going to stick to it? Is this actually going to be the final... Final cigarette. And is it going to actually bring a little bit of closure to him? If only we could all get to. Uh, Something so concrete. Also, the fact that this is a scene where we can go for several minutes and understand just what it holds. For someone just sat there smoking the past 45 seconds were quite heavy just keeps going I've seen this alleyway before And that door. Was it in like the first episode or something? Or multiple and an ending? <laughs> so he was what first brought into this this life. One that he cannot get away from. Oh. Behind the door. For your own safety or everyone else's. And just like that, the next morning is upon us and the world carries on like normal.
I think it's a final episode, as far as final episodes go. I think you got across pretty much everything that you, you needed setting up the gun devil being that threat looming over us and instead of being like an unknown entity that's operating out in the shadows just getting people to do his own bidding now we've got a concrete path and a plan the pieces are coming together literally to head towards them head towards some plot movement and with the activities of the special division one not being not so hidden, but also quite bountiful, having the roundup of everyone that they were going up against and arrested and it going down quite well. Having that, well, we thought that Denji's interaction with the Yakuza were over. No, no such, lu no such luck. But thankfully, they might be drawing like, to a better closure now, considering those who looked after him for wantingly killing their, their, their family members, their grandfathers, their friends, even if they were zombies, they're now behind bars, can't hurt them. And if someone's going to now be after him for that as well, and it's a never-ending cycle, well, we're going to have to find out. But that door, should it be opened, what, what leads behind it? Is it something we want to see? Or steer well clear of? What I do want is a bit more of the other fiends, meaning the violence. The shark. Maybe even spider, who knows. How are they all going to tie into it and help out? But hey, if bonuses are just around the corner, no wonder companies are staying around to collect that. What is the bonus scheme like for the special division? How much money would she have accrued? As far as devils go now, now that they're being personified and we can see them like this ghost devil, future devil, eternity, what else? What kind of things lurk in the darkness out there? What are people most afraid of? What would be the most abject horror that you could face? I mean, there, as I think I said before, some out and right fears. People are scared of spiders. Spider devil. People are scared of the dark. Dark devil. What about things that are inherent in everyone and yet not quite in your waking mind? Something innate. Would that be more or less powerful? Also, I'm just... If we're getting like the, the big bad being... Oh no, the gun devil is the one you need to worry about. How many people are afraid of guns? What about... The death itself? Fear of the unknown? If your imagination is worse than anything that could actually possibly exist, then... Oh God, that might be a terrifying devil to come across. Let's hope they're on the... the uh, let's hope they're at least amicable. Up for a, a meeting, a sit-down and a chat, rather than just outright slaughter. I mean, hell. If the future devil only wants to reside in Aki's eye for a little bit. There's hope. What are we going to come across soon? Is everyone going to stay okay in the special division, or try to break out once the money has been transferred into the accounts. We're gonna need to find out and I really hope that comes around soon. More Chainsaw Man is always good and I'll be chomping at the bit for whenever that is. But also something else needs to take its place. If you're over on my Discord there may be a poll if I've gotten around to doing it. If I haven't then call me a moron and make me do it. I think that sounds fair don't you? Get some rest. But if you like this one, leave a like on the video, consider subscribing, maybe leave a comment down below. But right now, take care. Get some rest.
and I'll see you in the next one. If you want to be that gift from the great beyond, pushing me onwards and getting me the easy revenge that I need, consider joining onto my Patreon, because every bit of help really does set me forward, with a little less negative impact on my health than a cigarette. So, I really do need to thank Naku, Raywin, Sal, Afia, Kite, Mystic Square, Shiwan Mats, Girly, Cardboard, Acne, Guado, Diego Zenhausen, Tori Jane, The Kebab Seller, and everyone else. I just hope no one plays a requiem for my honour.